Okay, now we need the Yoshino to see us. Because once Yoshino... Once the, once a type of an IGN animal, once he acquires visual contact with his perceived prey, his natural instinct, his natural reaction will be to turn broadside and use torpedoes. That is the natural instinct of the IGN animal. So you need to play upon that instinct. You need to give him vision. You need to let his eyes make visual contact with you. And then you wait for his predicted reaction. The problem is, sometimes, sometimes, Wargaming's blessed hand reaches down and protects the animal. That is the problem. Like, you get a hunting ban. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to shoot that animal. Okay, that's a different kind of animal. These things might run into rocks. Because that's the kind of animals, yeah. That's, that's a German animal in its natural habitat. That's a German animal in its natural habitat. They struggle naturally. They don't even need to have visual contact, they just they, they just struggle naturally. Enemy just the way they are. Enemy there's there's the IGN animal. Okay. Well let's touch the German animal first. He appears to have beached. This is common. Thank you, J Billy, for the 26. Uh, uh I think I have. I thought it was okay. -ish. Now the thing with the... Um, with the German animal is that uh, they often get confused. There's too many things going on at once. It confuses, like with whales, like sonar and stuff, it confuses them. And they end up like just sailing into solid objects. And this is what you can see happening here. Let's pop the spotter plane in case the Mecklenburg comes running around the island. I think I'm gonna eat the torp. It's gonna be flooding. Okay, giving that already, that's good. We're flooding quickly. GK has donated his health all away, that's good. This is the Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg doesn't push. Yeah, that's good for us. Well, we'll focus fire this guy, let's get rid of him. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Getting rid of the... The German thing is good. They should be dead, do not. That's very good. Okay. Good, good. So, good first day of hunting. Good first day of hunting. Now, the IGN animal is, uh... He is giving us a lot of broadside. The ship is on fire. I think he's hoping. So you're hoping to get the torpedoes off? We have, a, we have an American American species that's pushing into us. They can be dangerous. They can be dangerous. But oftentimes they neglect neglect their nose. For some reason. They have a very vulnerable schnout. Yeah, they often neglect their nose. They don't realize it's a soft snout. You have to protect them. Otherwise, people like me will run up and boop it. Okay. What do I have here? Oh. Oh no, no way he's eating those torps. Is he? No, he don't chase them. Okay. Oh, the IGN animal is distracted. Too many targets for him. Let's see if we can touch him. They, e they get easily distracted. Fuck, did he slow down? I think it slowed down. Damn. Oof. We touch him a bit. We touch him a bit. A bit of touch. Oh, this man ate torpedoes. I love the fact that the Montana pushed in, but the Mecklenburg and Yoshino did not. And this is why when you decide to do pushes like this, um, well, you need to be very confident that you're going to score kills quickly. Because if you don't score kill kills, if like Napoli just kites away like he's doing here and I just kite away and we just all focus fire and farm and stuff like, and you don't really get much done, then you just get whittled down. That was a lot of desync. Uh, well, and usually, see, a big issue here is you note that he's got German animals as support. Now the thing with German animals is they usually choose to go in for pushes after they see another animal die. 
So, we're gonna wait here, we're gonna see here. Montana is just about to die any second now. Let's see, we're gonna put one wall in then. And this, this will seem like a magic trick, but watch, as soon as this animal dies, a German animal will spring out of thin air and replace it. Watch. We shoot. He's dead. Boom! It appears! Out of nowhere! The exact moment he dies. The exact moment he dies. It's it's like a magic trick. It's it's also deep in the animal psyche to do this thing. Where you wait until the teammate is dead. And the moment of his death, that's when some sort of spasm kicks in and, and the German battleship pushes. It's it's impressive to say the least. No? Are we gonna game our turn? Squad kill himself. Oh, that's good. He's straight lining. Shit, I thought he was turning. I thought he was turning. That's a bad bit. We might get some. No, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Okay, what is the? We need. To, we, his. His so far away is going to be irrelevant. I'll just shoot the Mechlin now. Wait, my Napoli isn't smoking. Is he fighting him? He's fighting him. Why? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's a pretty bad idea, honestly. He could have just kited it away. He was faster. He had the stealth. He had no reason to do that. Okay, let's see. Mecklenburg is going to stop to try to get the camp. Big mistake. Makes it easy to smash him for a good... What are we gonna go for? 30k, maybe? Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Thank God for David Attenborough. Yeah, no, it's a fascinating study into, into the animal kingdom. Where's that Kremlin? Okay. The widest flanking Kremlin in the world. Interesting. The mega flank, yeah. What's especially interesting about this type of animal is that not only do they appear right after the death of their flock, but they also die extremely quickly, it, which is strange because they appear to be full HP, they appear to be healthy, they appear to be a, an individual in the prime age. Yet, the second they engage in any sort of conflict, it's almost as if they, they catch a flu or something and, and the animal passes away with astonishing speed. Astonishing speed, like you wouldn't believe it's an animal with, with heavy armor and the turtle back and and healing capabilities, you wouldn't believe that's a thing, because the speed at which the animal expires is, is astonishing. It just, one second it's there, next next second it's dead. And you're like, but, 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 Flolo, but, but, Professor Attenborough, I just saw the animal at peak strength, at full vitality. The coat was shining, the, the noises it made seem energetic. How is it possible that it's already dead? And this is a mystery. This is a mystery we've, we've studied for, for decades. We've tried to understand how does this animal pass away so quickly despite appearing so healthy at first. And, and no one really understands it. it. It's an absolute mystery. We think it has something to do with this uh, broadside use technicus that they all seem to apply, which is whenever they engage an enemy, they try to apply as much broadside as possible to the enemy. And I think that's probably a leading component to why the German specimen passes away so quickly in every conflict. It's uh, it's incredible, honest. It's incredible, honest. I think it I think it has something to do that once the animal loses its flock, 
it becomes extremely confused and it doesn't know how to behave like it doesn't have anyone else to take like behavioral cues from so the animal just like runs around wildly bumping into like trees and and, and smashing coconuts against its face and, and like it's just a complete shit show and i think that that's what it comes down to as soon as it loses its flock uh it, it goes down hill. good morning good day good morning proxy Mm. Oh, surprisingly, the IGN animal is the last one alive. This is highly uncommon. This is highly uncommon. I mean, at this point, though, we are looking at an animal that is on the one line close to the border. At this point, when you see a situation like this, Honestly, euthanasia is the only correct call. It is the only correct call. Like, 9 out of 10 doctors agree that in cases like this, euthanasia. It, there, there's no saving. It, it's an absolutely lost cause. Usually, if they're alive for this long, they, they, they've gotten some sort of disease on the way. Usually rabies or something. They, they seem to be frothing at the mouth. You often see a lot of typing coming in, usually about team or whatever. But... but they're, they're completely lost cause, 100% mortality, zero chance of success, just needs to be taken out. Like, at, at, sometimes they, they will hide in the underbrush, like in this case. He, this, this animal doesn't understand that we're 900 points to 600 with two caps to one, and he's hiding in the bushes. This is a panic reaction, because this is an animal that is so confused, so weak, so vulnerable, he doesn't know what to do. It, we, we call this, in the scientific kingdom, we call this the fight or flight response and in this case this one this animal has gone into full flight response this means he just tries to hide he tries he, any bright lights scare him gunpowder any explosions very terrifying so he just hides in the underbrush and tries to avoid any form of combat to no one's surprise this is not a very effective form of uh, winning a match but uh, it, it is what they do it is what they do it is how they behave In this case, this animal is stuck on the border. This is a common mistake. Once again, I've, I've said it before. They don't really know what they're doing. So they run face first into a wall. Then they become extremely predictable. And that's when it's time for the euthanasia to, to just put them out of their misery. That, that was honestly for the greater good. That was for the greater good. Mm, you're welcome. You're welcome. That she did never get. Thank you for the 90 minutes. No, Rank ranked is a, is a whole scientific research area that, that it, it can be even more exciting in randoms because see, this is the more controlled study version, but in randoms it's, ooh, it, it's a real, it, it's fascinating, it's fascinating. Honestly, like this is a, this is a animal researcher's wet dream, uh, looking into the, the psyche of the ranked player. It's a different habitat. It is a different habitat. 